guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melody and today I'm going to be flipping through my 2022 bullet journal right here. I'm really, really proud. This is my very first full, complete bullet journal. You can see how fat it is. I love how satisfying a full bullet journal is, how thick it gets. This is the Scribbles That Matter bullet journal. I had a really great time with it this year. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good bullet journal. The black leather is really easy to keep clean. It comes with this pen, yada yada. Let's open her up and let's flip through my 2022 bullet journal. Okay, so this is my beloved title page for 2022. It looks so good with the gold. I used a gold gel pen. This one right here, Jelly Roll Metallic Gold is what it's called. And then this is also based off of one of my favorite book covers from 2021. I'll put a picture up on the screen. This is inspired by Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. Um, I was obsessed with that cover and I wanted to recreate it, but I put my little boy Figaro down there in the corner where Sam, the character, would be on the original book cover, just to make it more my own. Um, honestly, this title page just set the standard so freaking high that I don't even know what I'm going to do this year for my title page. I am so behind on my bullet journal for this year, and I'm blaming it on this title page right here. So this is my future log. I don't want to flip through all of these, but you can see I have this like mini book within a book moment going on. Very simple, very pretty. Again, I'm probably going to blur this page, my goals, my wish list and gift list. Here's my monthly highlight page, which was super fun. I had a really good time with it. It's just got a bunch of pictures of me and the highlights from each month of the year. Again, a little book within the book. I would show you all the pictures, but I'm gonna try to keep privacy <laughs> as a consideration in this video. So now we're into my yearly book spreads, which are also very beautiful. I'm very proud of them. These also are just so gorgeous. I set the standard way too high <laughs> last year that I don't know what I'm gonna do this year. I don't want to just copy it, but I also will feel bad if I don't like one-up myself, if that makes sense. So this is my TBR page. I did read quite a few of the books on my TBR, which is awesome. Here is my bookshelf page, which honestly, this looks really great when it's all filled in. Um, pink stands for four star. There's definitely a lot of four star books this past year. Here's my Goodreads goal page. I read a lot of audiobooks this year, which is no surprise. I'm a very slow reader, so audiobooks honestly save the day. And now onto my books index pages, which look really satisfying, all filled in. Even though I mess up like multiple times. <laughs> but this is my overflow page, which I didn't need, hence why it is blank but this is the only blank page in my entire bullet journal, which is really cool. Here's a little stats page I decided to make last minute, just a few reading stats. What's interesting to me though, is that exactly half the amount of books I read this year were fantasy and 22% were romance, which I didn't think I read that much romance, but I read more romance than my mystery thriller horror category, which is really cool. All right, now we're in to January. So this theme, I think, was um, inspired by Amanda Rachley, um, a queen amongst bullet journaling, if I dare say. Uh, this, I think she inspired this theme last year, so it's pretty, I mean, you've probably seen it before. This was a fun one, very simple for me. I definitely changed my resolution tracker as we go on, but this is what it originated as, which I think is funny to see. And my books read page, really simple, very pretty. I like my idea dump. I'm probably going to blur it out, but I loved having an idea dump. I want to include more of these throughout my 2023 bullet journal because I found them very helpful. 
And my top book of January was Castle in the Clouds by Kirsten Gear. I love that book. All right, February's theme was love letters. And I just loved this theme. I like pinks, I really do. <laughs> and I like different shades of pink together. It's very just monochromatic and satisfying in these papers. I dyed using the tea dyeing method, I guess. You just basically seep white paper in some tea and it dyes your page in a really beautiful way. And I also wrote this quote in my quill. You know, I was just feeling all the love letter vibes when I made this spread. So this is my goal tracker. I changed it to months. Um, don't judge me because I do not, <laughs> I do not follow my goals very well at all. Um, I do a good job with my Italian goal the first half of the year and then you'll see it just completely drop off. To be honest, most of my goals drop off towards the end of the year. <sighs> it, it's not good. Here's my book spread page. I love this one so much. Just how simple it is and yet it is so pretty to look at. I really like this one a lot. So this is my fictional boyfriends page which is just kind of a filler, honestly. It's just a lot of fun, but I think this is so cute. And my February love was Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi. She definitely was one of my favorite authors um, that I discovered in 2022 slash 2021. All right, now it's time for one of my favorite themes of the year. This is my Aries theme for March. It's so eye-catching. Every time I turn to this page, it just, Oh, it makes me happy. Yeah, I'm proud of this one. I worked really hard on this left side here and I think it's gorgeous. I love it. Honestly, I worked hard on every spread this month. This one was another one that was really fun for me to plan out and to figure out because I knew I wanted my big three all on one spread. I've got my sun sign Aries, my rising Sagittarius, and my moon, which is Scorpio. And this is also my book's red page. It was a good reading month. So this is the page I jokingly call my biker page because it does look kind of biker, a little badass. Um, <laughs> anyway, I was going for Aries temper, Aries fiery side <laughs> on this page. And it definitely has some sort of biker slash like, I don't know, arson. <laughs> But anyway, I did really good with my Italian goal this month. Same with sketching. Writing? I don't know, guys, I just don't know. <laughs> and my monthly favorite was definitely One Italian Summer. April was a totally different vibe. This was a month that I almost didn't do. Uh, April, I was in a really bad burnout phase, I would say, just with everything. <laughs> and so instead of making like a dedicated bullet journaling video this month, I did kind of a chit chat and bullet journal with me video to motivate me to even do this. I ended up really liking this theme actually. So this layout and design on the left is one that I came up with on my iPad and just kind of ran with it in my bullet journal. Uh, the quote, water your mind with books and wildflowers shall grow. That's also a quote I made up. Um, I thought of that quote and then I kind of envisioned this illustration of the girl reading and there's flowers coming out of her head. Anyway, um, execution-wise, uh, so-so, <laughs> but uh, no, it's, it's pretty good. And I love that my day's red was indicated by what color the flower was in the flower pot. I just think that is so cute. I had a really good time with that. Next is my hauled TBR and goal tracker page which also I, I did really enjoy how this ended up with the flowers kind of vining up and around the color boxes. I just thought that was really, really nice. This, however, I think is my favorite spread from this month. I just love how colorful it is. And um, instead of just writing first book, second book, I did by the amount of flowers in the bouquet. So first book, second book, third book, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And by the end, we have six flowers in our little bouquet, which I think is awesome. 
I love that. I think that is so pretty. It's just different. The way I curved it and everything, it's different and I really enjoyed it. Now, this is a brainstorm page. I'll probably blur it, but nothing much here, honestly. I did not really do this page. I didn't fully finish it, which is fine. Um, and then over here is just my April favorite, Lizzie and Dante. Okay, we're back with May. I'm sorry if it looks a little bit different. I had to change my battery pack. But this is May. This is my travel theme because this is the month I went on vacation. I was extremely excited for this trip. Uh, me and my boyfriend went to Italy. As you can see, Iowa to Italy. I loved it. My days read are either gelato cones or pizzas during the two weeks that we were gone. I just loved this. So the left side is my airplane window view. This is an image of Capri, uh, which I've never actually flown by Capri at all, but I wanted this to be the location in my plane window because that was one of our destinations and also probably the easiest one to draw. And the bottom says Andiamo in Italia, which means let's go to Italy. Here is my books read page, which as you can tell, it's all luggage. I wrote every book that I read inside each different piece of luggage. This is a cute idea, but it's not my favorite. Um, it's just not easy to read the books I read and the descriptions about them, but it is cute. I will admit, I, I do like looking at it. Here's my goals page. My TBR and hauled are on these postcards, if you will. Uh, my goals are on this compass, which I didn't actually like that. I would probably do it differently next time. It was just kind of confusing and hard to see. Um, but anyway, my May favorite here on these Polaroids was Love and Gelato, which I listened to on our trip. Now here is another one of my favorite themes. This is June. And the theme for this one is scrapbook. So I really made this theme look like a scrapbook and it is a scrapbook of the trip that we went on in May. So these are all photos of our trip and they're very kind of grainy. They were printed with my Fomimo printer and they're printed in black and white and I spent the time to color them in. And I think the graininess and the kind of colored in vibe of the photos just really make this theme look cohesive and really bring it together. I mean, yes, I think printed out photos would also look fabulous, but it's what I had and I made it work and so I really like it. This color scheme is just really beautiful together. I love this theme. Here is the books read page. I wanted to include as many pictures of my trip as possible. We've got um, pasta and pizza and wine and a campanile. It's, it was a good time. Our trip was amazing and I had a blast making a bullet journal theme that was, you know, obviously themed after the very trip we just went on. So it was such a blast. It was so much fun. I highly recommend doing this if you go on vacation in 2023 and then you can make your bullet journal theme based on that trip. It is just so much fun. Here is a hauled page. I think I went on a shopping spree <laughs> this month. And there's a picture of me and my boyfriend in front of the Chevy Fountain. Here's a picture of my boyfriend driving the boat at Capri. You can kind of tell there. Um, so yeah, it was such a good time. My Italian, <laughs> my Italian goal goes way, way, way downhill after our trip to Italy, as you could probably imagine. Here's another idea dump on this side of the page. There's a picture of me in Verona, some more wine, and a picture of Verena, not to be confused with Verona. <laughs> um, and my favorite read this month was the Star-Crossed Sisters of Tuscany. I just think the scrapbook paper I used and everything just tied together beautifully, and it really captures the essence of our trip and it captures my heart, so. Moving on to July. This is another theme I really, really loved. The theme for this month, of course, was Sailor Moon. I spent a long time sketching out her character there on the left, and I think it was well worth it. It is just so stunning. 
I remember adding this like wallpaper-esque background behind her and I remember that really tying it together in my mind. And the color scheme is just so bright and fun and girly. Oh, and this book's red page is one of my favorite book's red pages of the year. I just love the roses. This took so long drawing these roses as the border, but it was so worth it. When I look at this page, it is so beautiful. It is so satisfying. It's worth every minute. And of course, I had to include illustrations of Luna, and so I have quite a few. Um, this is my TBR hauled and gold tracker page. Look at that. One day I did Italian. Ugh, I don't want to talk about it. This is the page I thought felt like a manga with the different shaped boxes and stuff. I think I'm so clever. <laughs> um, here's another idea dump page. And one of my favorite illustrations there of Usagi and Luna. And my monthly favorite page I think is just beautiful as well. The washi tape really just brought this theme together this month. I really fell in love with washi tape in 2022. I used it so much. It was kind of a crutch for me, but it's just beautiful. How can you not use it? I love it. Anyway, my monthly favorite for July was Howl's Moving Castle. Now on to August. This month's theme is August by Taylor Swift. Um, this is one that I think a lot of you guys liked. It wasn't ever my favorite, but, but I think this bullet journaling video got a lot of views and a lot of comments. It was a pretty popular video. And I get why, looking back on it now, it does have a very moody quality to it, which fits August and folklore like kind of perfectly and I just love this quote on the side of the page because you were never mine Oh, it just hits you right in the feels My book's red page. Honestly, this theme is pretty cohesive throughout Back when I was living for the hope of it all. I love that line And this one was only a three spread month, which is great for me <laughs> I remember feeling uninspired this month a little bit this page, I think, is a little bit messy. The trees in the background are what irk me the most, but you know, it is what it is. And I do like the addition that these torn pieces of paper taped in with some washi tape give to these spreads. I think it really adds something. And my August favorite was Heartstopper Volume 2. Now we're on to September where my washi tape likes to bubble up. <laughs> That's a little bit annoying, but I never did film a video for September. There's something about September where I get really burnt out when it comes to bullet journaling because my first year bullet journaling, I also skipped September kind of, but this year I forced myself to at least do something for September, but I did not film it. I finished this spread on my couch watching Sabrina, I think. It's a firefly theme. It's really simple, but it's honestly so cute. So even though I didn't film it and I didn't give this theme much thought, I still think it turned out really, really cute. Especially this book's red page. I just love the black and gold. Black and gold look really great together. Here is my autumn TPR on the left, AKA 13 books I wanted to read for spooky season. And honestly, I think I read most of them. I think I read all of them except for one, which by the way, I need to finish that check mark. So I did read all of them except for one. Well, two, because I DNF'd House of Leaves, but <laughs> that's a given. And then my September favorite was The Death of Jane Lawrence. Now we're on to another one of my favorite themes. This is my Scooby-Doo theme. I am really proud of this month as well. As you can see, I did a really big illustration on the left there. I mean, it took some time, but it was definitely, definitely worth it. And it says, zoinks, it's spooky season there on the left. I freaking love this page. And now my book's red page, another one I simply adore. I love Cap Cutler's Ghost on the bottom. It's just one of my favorites. This is definitely an illustration heavy month but it was worth it. It does take a long time to do months like this and themes like this, but they end up being my favorite. And I mean, come on, look, 
it's Scooby-Doo dressed as a witch and they're pointing at each other. It's just so funny. It's a freaking good time. Don't look at my goals. I did not complete any goals in the month of October, but I did read this book, The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager, and I really, really loved it. All right, now on to November, which is notorious in my book for being the most difficult theme of 2022. Not that it was all that challenging in execution, but coming up with the ideas of this theme was so hard for me. I, well, let me just say first, this is inspired by Taylor Swift's newest album called Midnight's. Um, It came out in late October and I wanted my November theme to be based on the album. It is really hard to think of 2D illustration designs that are inspired by, you know, something not tangible like music. It is really, really hard, guys. And I tried my best. This first title page is based on the song Lavender Haze. I hope that's obvious. Uh, I really struggled with the lavender haze aspect, but I ended up just doing these ripped up pieces of watercolor purple paper. And then I have, of course, Meet Me at Midnight and the iconic Lighter. Overall, I really am proud of myself for sticking through this theme and reaching the point that it is right now. I'm not sure if this is the most popular theme or the most mm, consumable to everybody, but to me it is one of my favorites because it's one where I had to challenge myself the most. It's one where I had to be the most creative, that's for sure. And I am proud of it. I'm proud I stuck with it. And here is my TBR and hauled page. I have the little ghosties from the anti-hero music video. They say, it's me, hi. Um, so this is themed after anti-hero, but also maroon because the background is pretty maroon. It looks really red on camera, but in person it's more, it's more maroon. <laughs> but I also have, you know, the giant clock where it's almost midnight. So yeah, this is a really fun page. I really like it. And here's my book spread spread. This spread is themed after the song Midnight Rain. I feel like that one's kind of self-explanatory. I like this one a lot. I think it's cool. Again, this is kind of a personal favorite theme. I don't know if everyone would like or understand this theme as much as I do. It is so personal trying to come up with images that represent songs in one's head. So. Yeah, I don't know if it makes sense to viewers, but to me, it does make sense. (laughs) And this is my vinyl spread for my Midnight's theme. This one is just the album cover on this side over here with some more of the floral paper. I chose to use this floral paper, by the way, throughout all the spreads because I thought thought it looked kind of vintage, you know? And her anti-hero music video was very vintage, 70s looking, all of her track announcement videos for super vintage so that's why i had the floral paper and my favorite for the month of november was a good girl's guide to murder and finally we are on the last month this is december and the theme for this month was i guess winter woods or winter in the mountains i think i ended up calling it winter woods or something like that but anyway It's kind of winter in the mountains and an ice skating theme at the same time. I wanted this one to be an easy theme for me to do, and it pretty much was. Um, It's kind of a loose illustration style. All I really knew I wanted was the ice skater on a lake in a mountainous valley area, and that's what I did. And I really like how it turned out. It's wintry, and I like it. Here's the book's red page. I did include a Christmas tree. I just think it's cute and magical and and it turned out really good. Like I said, I wanted to include ice skating in this theme. I had seen Disney on Ice recently and I wanted to include ice skating because it really kind of stuck with me. I love ice skating. I think it's beautiful and I wish I was better at it, Um, but yeah. This page was cute. It's my TBR and also the books I got for Christmas. Um, Yeah, and then here is the last page my goals page and my monthly favorite which was so this is christmas by jenny holiday Uh, my goals were also neglected completely in december (laughs) but anyway and that is literally it the next page is a pen testing page and then that's it that's the back of the book 
so i hope you guys liked watching this video i hope it was interesting to watch me flip through my 2022 bullet journal i'm super super proud of this it is the first time i've ever completed an entire bullet journal it is also the first time i have journaled for 12 months in a row for my first ever completed bullet journal, I think I did a pretty good job. Pretty fantastic, if I do say so myself. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but at the same time, it is good to be proud of yourself for certain things. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you all in 2023's upcoming bullet journaling videos. And until then, have a good one. I'll see you next time.